Hello friends, this is Techie Jack, the Microsoft Certified Trainer. Let's see the deployment scenario for Exchange Server 2016. If you want to deploy Exchange Server 2016 in your organization, let's see what are the options available that you can choose according to your organization. So basically there are three types of deployment scenario in Exchange Server 2016. That is a single server deployment, the multiple server deployment and the hybrid deployment. So let's see what should be considered when choosing these options. Single server deployment. In this scenario you deploy Exchange Server on a single server. That means you do not have any other machine on which Exchange Server 2016 is installed as a backup or any other medium. That means you have uh, only one server installed with Exchange Server 2016 and this scenario is appropriate for small business with the limited resources like if you do not have a resources available with your company and you have to deploy the exchange server with the minimum resources that means you can install it on a single server but deploying all exchange server services onto a single server has several drawbacks that which includes like having a single point of failure for your entire messaging system and you also do not have a high availability option in this scenario and if you choose to have a single server exchange server deployment uh, what you can do is you can deploy exchange server inside a virtual machine and that you keep that virtual machine highly available or at least you, what you can do is you can replicate that machine with another Hyper-V server in a Windows Server 2016 or in a Windows Server 2012 host and what it will do this will provide you a high availability and redundancy for your critical exchange server so if you are doing it with the like limited resources still you can replicate it with your uh, another Hyper-V server so that you can get the high availability and high redundancy our second deployment option is a multiple server deployment in the multiple server deployment scenario you usually install more than one mailbox server on a separate server. This requires that uh, you should provide at least two virtual or physical machine for the exchange server deployment. So in this scenario where you also want to provide high availability, you should provide load balancing clusters and DAGs. To achieve full redundancy for exchange server, you need at least two server for exchange mailbox server and at least two domain controllers. So deploying exchange with multiple server deployment. Now we have two physical or virtual server with exchange mailbox services. We have load balancing cluster and database availability group. Our third scenario is a hybrid deployment. In a hybrid deployment, it provides the ability to extend on-premises exchange server functionality to the cloud. In this scenario, you can connect your Active Directory domain services and exchange server with Office 365 which allow you to move some of your exchange resources to Office 365 and this deployment can also be served as an intermediate step prior to moving completely to an exchange online organization. So guys I hope you found the video informative. If you like the video please do subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for more upcoming updates or if you want to join the full advanced training on Exchange Server 2016 you can email me.